Hi everyone, Livy here at Touch of Happiness Massage. In today's video, I'll explain the concepts of anal massage and prostate massage. You'll learn why those two things are so pleasurable and why it's something that I recommend everyone should explore during mindful masturbation. So what is anal massage? Um, anal massage involves touching, massaging, exploring and enjoying the area of your anus, uh, your asshole. It can include only external touch or can in also involve uh, internal prostate massage. More about that in a moment. A really good anal massage will involve touch and attention given to the buttocks the base of the spine, the hips, the tops of the thighs, the butt crease, the perineum, and the anal uh, sphincter itself. So anal massage can be incorporated as a wonderful part of masturbation and self-pleasuring, but it's also beneficial for things like hemorrhoids, pelvic pain, erectile dysfunction, and premature ejaculation. What about prostate massage? What's the difference? Well, prostate massage will involve uh, inserting your finger or fingers into your asshole to directly stimulate the prostate gland. Prostate massage can be done for purely medical reasons, for example, to relieve the symptoms of prostatitis or an enlarged prostate or urinary tract issues but um, for many people it's used to achieve arousal, enhance erections and access orgasm. It can be a very normal and pleasurable part of a healthy relationship with masturbation and arousal. What does anal massage feel like? Uh, why does it feel so good? So when you only touch your cock, you only access arousal and pleasure through the pudendal nerve pathway, including external anal touch will activate the pelvic nerve and stimulating the prostate will also fire up the hypogastric nerve. More activated neural pathways equals more variety, uh, which equals more potential for pleasure. Stimulating those two particular nerve endings makes the arousal and sensation feel fuller, more layered, um, less one-dimensional than just stimulating your penis. By touching and stimulating the anal sphincters and internal walls of the rectum, you're also accessing uh, the smooth muscle fibers of the body, which connect to your digestive system and your enteric nervous system. That has a beneficially relaxing effect on your whole body. Uh, one of my clients, I remember, said uh, it's like a knot of stress, anxiety and tension deep, deep inside my body is just being undone. And it's like letting go of a, a weight that I didn't know I was carrying, which I think is a great uh, way to describe it. So what about my prostate? Uh, you say, how will I know if I found it? Um, very common question. The prostate gland is located just below the bladder at the front of the rectum. It's about the size of a walnut and surrounds the urethra as it exits the bladder. If you are lying on your back, pop your middle finger into your anus with your palm facing upwards and keep the, the pad of your finger flat against the top wall, so not poking. Um, you're just pressing uh, gently upwards towards your pubic bone. How deep you have to insert your finger will vary from person to person, but generally it can be anywhere from about the, the first knuckles, so maybe one inch, to the second knuckle, so maybe about three inches. If you just gently apply pressure with the pad of your finger, the same that you might uh, apply to your eyeball through your eyelid, um, initially you might not be able to feel a lot of sensation, it, it might just be numb or just feel like a kind of general sense of pressure or fullness. Um, sometimes it can feel a little bit like needing to pee because of the connection to the urethra and the bladder, so that's really normal. 
being aroused makes your prostate swell. So the more turned on you are before you start internal massage, the easier it will be to kind of locate and feel your prostate. Um, why should you include anal and prostate massage in your masturbation? Well, integrating anal touch or anal play, arse play into your solo sex and masturbation can be exciting, uh, sensation full and extremely pleasurable um, as part of masturbation or partnered sex. As an aside, I personally just don't fully trust any male lover to penetrate me who has never himself experienced penetration. There's just a level of, of empathy and skill that you gain when you know how to surrender and how it actually feels to be penetrated. So guys, uh, learn to love your ass and it will make you a better lover. Uh, do you need uh, any, more, any more reason than that? I don't know. Um, anal stimulation and penetration will take your orgasmic experience to another level. The, the prostate is essentially the, the male G-spot and believe me, G-spot orgasm is way juicier than just a clitoral orgasm, so just a penis orgasm for you guys. Um, when you stimulate your G-spot, you, you will intensify your orgasm, it will be more long-lasting and just a, a more full-bodied experience. So, as well as pleasure and becoming a better lover, there are other benefits to including anal massage in your masturbation. Uh, maintaining prostate health. So if you have other risk factors for prostate cancer, then it's even more of a good idea to get familiar with your prostate. Early detection is one of the biggest factors in beating prostate cancer. And if you never even go near the area, how do you stand a chance of, of noticing early if something feels off? Uh, relaxing pelvic tension. If your pelvic floor muscles are stiff and chronically contracted, you'll find it difficult to relax or contract them effectively. And that can have a knock-on impact on anything from constipation or painful bowel movements to bladder pain and urinary incontinence to premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction. Um, so if you want to know how you can give yourself uh, an anal or prostate massage, I recommend that to begin you do your preparation. So take a bath or a shower, make sure your body's nice and warm and relaxed. Prepare your space with a towel, pillows, lube, gloves, anything else you might need. A couple of good positions to adopt or try out when giving yourself anal massage. Uh, first one, try lying on your back with your legs bent up. Just pop your feet flat on the floor or take them into more of like a happy baby pose. Uh, or you can try lying on your side with one knee bent up in front of you and then you sort of reach your arm round behind you to touch your arse. And then finally, uh, you can try sitting on your knees and reaching your arm round uh, underneath. Uh, your genitals um, or you can sort of place one hand on the floor for balance almost like you're um, on, on hands and knees. Bear in mind that the tissues in the lining of your rectum are very delicate and can be really uncomfortable if you if they're scratched, abraded, torn. So this is why I advise you to use lots and lots of lube or oil for anal massage. Do not scrimp on the lube. Uh, it's also a good idea to either um, trim your nails or get hold of some latex-free nitrile gloves. If they're latex-free, you can use oil with them, um, not just lube. So go slowly, relax, breathe, and you'll have a lovely time. In the video description, I'm putting a link to a step-by-step -step guide for specific massage techniques for external and internal anal massage. Check them out, uh, let me know in the comments how it feels. If you've enjoyed this video today and you want to know more about self-touch, mindful masturbation and intimacy, just hit those like and subscribe buttons and then you will never miss a video. Thanks for watching.